Okay, so let's talk more about Disney's push to get those workers back in the office with Jessica Kriegel, chief scientist uh, of workplace culture at Culture Partners. Good morning, Jessica. Nice to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having me back. Okay, so CEO Bob Iger back in the top job at Disney, and he said this to employees that a return to mostly in-person work would benefit the culture there and the creative processes in particular. A lot of other big companies, Jessica, has settled on two days or even three days a week uh, in the office. Is Bob Iger going to get all those people back to work, work in person? No. <laughs> No, yeah, I don't think he is. And in fact, I think he's counting on it. Many of these high profile CEOs are putting in strict come back to the office policies because they want people to leave. They're, this company is struggling. The legacy business is struggling. We've seen that. And so now he's got a decision to make. He can lay off a bunch of workers, which would be terrible PR in addition to the already horrible PR they've been getting. Or he can create a dynamic in which people no longer want to work there and they're going Going to leave. It's what Elon Musk did with Twitter. And I think other high profile CEOs are using this tactic. It's unethical. It's, it's kind of icky. It's certainly not good for culture. So you are seeing a strategy heading into a slowing, a slowing economy, a business model that allows for, for attrition. Uh, that's not what Disney is saying. Disney is saying they're doing it because it's good for their business to have people all together. But the Disney stock is down 40% since the beginning of 2022. Um, do you think part of this could be Bob Iger going back, trusting what has worked for him in the past, a pre-COVID model? Absolutely. Yes, he has a playbook and he is using that playbook. He was the CEO since 2005. This is a post-pandemic world, though, and things are not the way that they used to be. We have tasted the fruit of working from home and we love it. Not only that, the studies show that people are ha happier, they are healthier, they are more productive when they're able to work from home. So forcing people back into the office for this idea that it might make people more creative, well, frankly, it's not very creative in and of itself. And it's not good for culture because it's putting business before people instead of people before business. And in the long term, that is not going to work. This will, I think, be one of the big job market stories of 2023. This transition to what is hybrid going to look like? How many days of the week are we going to be in the office? I mean, Iger is not saying five days a week. He's saying four days a week. So clearly it's an acknowledgement that things have changed and a recognition that people need a little bit of flexibility. There was a great piece in the Wall Street Journal um, that had this uh, sort of anecdote about how some Vanguard employees say they were told that if they didn't comply, they would be fired. Um, what do you think is going to happen if bosses run against this wall? They're, they're facing trouble retaining workers. They all say they need to keep their good talent, but they also want people to start coming back. Yeah, there's tension right now between bosses and workers, basically. Workers are enjoying working from home and bosses are saying, I've got to make my culture better. Well, culture is the experiences that we have that shape our beliefs about the work that we're doing. And that leads to the actions that we take, whether we're creative or not. And that's going to get us results. People at Disney are having an experience right now that what they want is not necessary, what they want is not important. We need you to be creative, so that means coming into the office. And this comes after, remember, the drama of the last couple of years of the Imagineering department needing to move to Florida, people being told that they had to relocate and then going back on that policy. And so if I were working at Disney right now as an employee, the experience I would have had is that they don't see me, they don't value me, they don't care about what will make me happy, productive and healthy, and I would probably want to leave. That would be the result they'd get. All right. Jessica Kriegel, Culture Partners, thanks so much. Nice to see you this morning. Nice to see you too.